According to a recent study, 55% of Americans report they are behind on their retirement savings. That's what this is all about. What's at stake? What are you going to be able to do with these tax defaulted properties? If you're one of those people, you'll want to stay tuned to the end of this video because I will show you how an investor can earn $25,000, $50,000 on one tax deed purchase and why California is the best tax deed state. This is part one. Everyone wants to know the best tax deed states. I'm starting by saying this is a business of abundance. California has 58 counties and millions of parcels of real estate. They didn't think I could teach people how to buy real estate in Los Angeles, California for less than 10 cents on the dollar. But when I did, they were shocked into reality. My student Renee purchased five residential vacant buildable lots in nice neighborhoods for an average of 8.5 cents on the dollar with no mortgage and no deed of trust to pay. He did all that at one tax defaulted auction. Now, many others of my students have done the same in other jurisdictions. The margin between the auction purchase price and the selling price is your profit when you're in this business. Knowledge of this business creates a transformation in your lifestyle. It gets much better quickly. Why? You'll be on a path which will be just like following a roadmap. The majority of the properties which are rural properties, a small percentage end up at tax defaulted auctions, which the average person has never heard of. FYI, tax defaulted real estate auctions usually have 20 to 25% of the auction list will be land of some type that they're in the process of auctioning. The largest counties like San Bernardino and Kern County will have hundreds of rural open land parcels for auctions, as will urban counties like Los Angeles and San Diego County. They also will have residential properties and sometimes dozens, even thousands of residences to sell. In the recent past, the county treasurer auctioned the properties for as low as five cents on the dollar. The treasurer and her staff are responsible for the auction. However, in many instances, they will hire an outside auctioneer firm to actually conduct the auction. To learn more about the actual auction, the county website is your best source of information. However, savvy investors also check out and research the following websites, govease.com, grantsteet.com, realauction.com, bidforassets.com. And this is not a complete list, but definitely check all those out and read the FAQs. You'll get a lot of information. Many auctions require days of research, especially if you're a beginner or a newcomer to the tax defaulted auction process. California is a deed jurisdiction, which translates to the county will deed the auction property to the highest bidder at the public auction. The treasurer will eliminate the loan, which is referred to as a deed of trust or a mortgage. Other liens require due diligence. Some may be canceled and deleted by the auction. However, it's up to the buyer to assure the liens are removed or will be extinguished by the tax defaulted real estate auction. California statutes detail the auction process rules and procedures. California, to my knowledge, is the most liberal in the United States when it comes to property tax auctions. For example, the property taxes will have been in default for five years before the state legislature mandates that the Board of Supervisors require the treasurer to take action and notice the property owners of default and then proceed and levy and confiscate the property, which is then sold by law, sold at auction with a starting bid of very close to the back taxes. I'm Ted Thomas. I'm not an attorney at law. I'm not a real estate broker. I'm an investor just like you, the viewer. The county websites are jam-packed with detailed information. The auction portals are jam-packed with information, all of which is required for newcomers and beginners. Many frequently asked questions are listed on the county website. Recently, many counties have required the auction bidders place a $5,000 deposit, which is refundable if the bidder is unsuccessful. A word of warning, the county will take action if the bidder does not come forward and completely pay the amount of the bid. The bidder will certainly lose their deposit if they don't pay the complete bid. The successful high bidder will be the new owner of the property and have the responsibility from then on to pay utilities, security, and all that goes into owning a property. In 30 years of involvement in tax defaulted real estate, 
I see bidders win properties. That is, they gain ownership at the tax defaulted auction. However, many have not completed the due diligence and walked on the property. In other words, boots on the ground. And unfortunately, they don't know the condition of the property or the neighborhood. It's a buyer's responsibility to know what they're purchasing. Tax defaulted auctions do not allow for refunds. It's up to the bidder to understand the property's condition and the neighborhood appeal. Tax defaulted auctions repeatedly produce profits for the investors that know how of $25,000 and $50,000, even $100,000 on some of the larger properties. Certainly, California qualifies as one of the better places to invest. Prices may be high. However, the auctions have generous amounts of properties for auction. In my next video, which is number two in this series, I will reveal how an investor can make up to 20% return in one year or less, or you get the property. We're going to talk about another deed state, and that state is Georgia. It's another one of the favorites.